Hello, I am SBF. For the past many, many years, I have been a gaming addict. Like, you know how, how addictive video games can get. But I mean, many people ask me, what's the point of video games? I'll show you what point of video games are. I think, oh my god. Holy shit. Yeah, in a nicer note, I just wanted to also learn how to create video games. This is my 6 month Unreal Engine learning journey. With all the goods. Holy shit, finally. And, and the bads. Yeah, there are a, a lot more bads. So I started by first installing the latest version of Arial. Up to this point, I was good. I opened it up and I tried doing something. Anything. Literally anything. And I failed massively. So then what I did is what any normal person would do. And that is watch about 15 hours of tutorials. Also, if you are curious what tutorials I used, uh, they will be linked in the description. But yeah, after those really refreshing hours, I want to analyze myself. I went in and I actually started developing my first game. I destroyed the third person default map and I created one of my own. I was already a master at this. I created a house, I decorated it. I then created the landscape around it and I covered it with beautiful foliage. I felt like an artist drawing my life project. And then I was done. Sure, it wasn't great, but it was okay. I copied the tutorial on how to make the game first person and I created a very smart AI. And I, in a call with my friend, I presented him the masterpiece and basically like that, I made my first devlog. Oh, wait a bit, that's the devlog man. Psst. The devlog is in Romanian. I'll actually voice over it so you can actually understand what we are talking. Here we go boys, this is my first devlog. If I'll ever want to see what I did in the future, I don't know if I will ever want to, but okay. Send me the recording afterwards too, please. Okay, this is Jijal. If we press play, and the game freezes for a second, look what Jijal does. Michael Jackson. Yes, he is Michael Jackson. I don't don't look down while playing this game. Why is it so laggy? I have to optimize it. I think that will be the hardest part. Okay, anyway, devlog. We show Jigel. Why is it so laggy? Oh, because it's day and there are shadows, maybe. We have a flashlight and if you press F twice, you can turn it on or off. Up in there. The map is the map. And if we go to the door and press E, wow, it opens. And now let me show you a trick shot. You can open the door with your back because that's how I know to make games. So you can open the door with the back. You can come here and... And you also go through the door. <laughs> and also, I think for speedrunners, if you don't want to wait for the door to open, to be faster, you can go here, press twice, and you go to. Oh my god. So, door, door, what the hell? Okay, you come to this Unreal Engine trophy, press E, you save the world. Congratulations. You press the button and you save the world. Yes. Okay. And this is the devlog. Tell me a name for the game. Digital Simulator, Monoac Simulator. What is this guy doing? I really want a round of applause for this game. Now, even though this game was truly a masterpiece, it lacked a goal. So that's why I destroyed this off of my computer and I created a new one. The idea behind it is simple. You are in a haunted forest and you have to collect notes. How many you ask? Well, the answer to that is 8. 
and the horror aspect is created by a mysterious figure that seems like it's not from this world and that wants to kill you. A very unique concept. Cat, stop destroying my cores around here. Stop being annoying. I'm trying to require. Okay, so this game is obviously very unique. Alright, so I lost footage of me working on this game, so we'll go to the next chapter and we'll come back here in a moment. Alright, chapter 3. I'll be a hundred percent honest to you. I kind of wanted to take part in a game jam around this time. So alright, let just 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 let let me explain. In two weeks from that point, a game jam would be held. That's really rare in Romania where I am from, so I want I really wanted to take part in it. In another game jam created by the same people a year before that the winner was a game with dungeons and stuff like that so i wanted to try recreating that to see if i would be good enough for participating that's how escape the facility got created after like one hour of trying to recreate to the game in ariel which is insanely hard by the way bro i am recording shut up you have water you have food bro Shut up and leave. Let me record. Go, go sleep or something. Okay, where, where was I? Yeah, so recreating a 2D game in Unreal is insanely hard. So I got annoyed and I decided to take this game and develop it with my own style and my own ideas. This is the game where I learned most of the level design, sound animation, a little bit of AI, but most importantly, blueprints and many other things somewhat related to them. I guess if you don't know, blueprints are Unreal's coding language. They are C but in a visually nicer way made of many, many functions. I hope everything was true in that sentence. See, those are really hard to learn because Unreal is an insane engine. It has so many things easily accessible to you, I still find it insane. Like why I wanted to change a random Niagara particle system and just look at how many things I can add, change or remove to customize it the way I want. And I know those aren't blueprints but we'll put them in the same category just for simplicity. And this applies to all Unreal Engine features. That's definitely a good thing that you have everything you need in your hand. But as a beginner it can be very discouraging and I guess that even as an advanced developer you won't really know and you won't really use everything. Here, cat. Here we go, cat. Those are by far the hardest things that you have to learn about Unreal as a beginner. I won't go in much more details about this game because I kind of plan on making a devlog about it too. So yeah, back to Slenderman. Uh, back to notes. Yes, yeah, that, that's a good name, back to notes. Okay, so as I said, I don't have the old footage, but I have some recent footage. Because of that, I will tell you what happened before this recent footage. So, I created a landscape, some points of interest and foliage. That's it. Now let's get into it. And if you wonder why I put so much emphasis on this project, well it's because this is my first game so this one shows my progress the best. Alright, so I started with something easy to motivate myself to keep going. What I did is play with the post processing to make the game look nicer and I made a center dot for the screen. But that's really where all the easy stuff ends because from here on I replaced the interact system for reference before it used to be a box collision that would allow you to interact while inside it which would cause problems like in the other developer. And I changed it to shoot a ray that detects if there is an interactable item in front of it. This came with a lot of collision bugs that I quickly had to fix, but after that I moved on to doing some level design. And with that I actually mean improving the really shitty things I did, like giving this house better textures or giving this bridge lights, so it's actually visible, unlike before. After that I added camera bobbing to make the game feel better, I added rain, and then I went to Blender to give my objects some actual meaning, rather than a white cube. I'm not an expert in Blender, I'm not even an intermediate. Okay, I am so bad, like calling myself a beginner would be an overstatement. But, I mean, the final thing did not turn out 
that bad. I would say. I added a map that also displays how many nodes we picked up. I actually made some textures for the 8 nodes that are currently on screen. Also, this one is my favorite in terms of I actually drew it pretty well. I even surprised myself. I did some quality of life changes. And I made the camera feel more like an actual camera that's actually recording as I intended from the beginning. And then I fixed bugs lots of bugs and basically those are the major changes now i'll build the game and show it to my brother there is currently no threat but i mean i really wanted to see if the game was beatable without looking up a uh, walk okay, begin can i jump you forgot the lantern where here f4 flashlight Do I have stamina? No. Yeah. Hold tab. Where the heck am I? What come up? What is that thread thing? Oh dear. We're going to the red. That's what they do in horror movies. I did not pay attention to that amazing drawing. Where are the where are the pets? Oh. Oh. We're going where he tells me to not. That's what we do in horror movies. I hope I can't die. What is that? A human? It's not a door. It's not a bird. It's a... Wait, what is... It? A pole. Oh. What is this? Whatever you say, brother. I think I'm at the left thread. Are they hang by what I think they are? What? I don't know, maybe I'm just dirty minded, I don't know. <laughs> they looked hanged in the intimate places. <laughs> what is that a tent? I need to investigate. That's what they do in horror movies and die. Is that a house? Oh, what? That? House? If this is the house, what is that? If this is the house, what is that? Oh no. I hope I can die to Slender Moon. What? What is that? Oh, is that the car? In the middle of the rain. Where is my mama's sandwich? Hold up. La, la, la. The sun is more beautiful than ever. That road is going into the mountain. <laughs> How can you actually see that? <laughs> Trip road. I'm searching. Is it not here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mountains and a fence. Yeah. A fence. You are thinking you are uh, in the moon. Okay, go. Woo! It's time to investigate, kiddos. Woo! Is this here? Oh! oh. That is imminent. Slender doesn't know Romanian. What is that? Where is it? Where am I? Lantern, save me. What is that? What? Okay, let's investigate. Horror movies. <laughs> if detectives want to do their job, I'll do it. 
Ai tot te tot what Bă! Uh, don't fall in the pit, by the way. How can I even fall in there? Tell me the tutorial. That's the single way you can die. So Slenderman can't kill me. Okay, so I'm here. I thought that house was... That's that house. Do you think the map is so small? Yes, I thought it was more zoomed in. Insane Asylum. This is where you belong. Now I realize. We're going in heaven, boys. Why is there no roof, boys? What is this? What a bad writing Slenderman has. What is this? What does it say? Um, two more. And I can go play DBD. What is this? The mountain is so inclined. How does that fence hold up? How is this rust holding? Why is it floating? Oh my god. <laughs> How can I even fall in there? How can I even fall in there? Yay, we're going sliding. I warned you. Where am I? Here, in the pit. What if I fall? Bow bow. Be careful. I don't even know where to go. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> That's you pushing <laughs> me. <laughs> Mountains, okay. Oh. Oh yeah. That is Slenderman pushing you. That's why you fell. Yes, Slenderman pushed me, and those are spikes. So lantern trees, and where are the ah. people? Ah! I thought this weird legs. This the body and this the rope. This is it. But where's the note? Finally. Yeah. Give up. No. Uh, uh. Run, 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 run. Move your ass out of here. Run, run, run. I swear if he's behind me. Look behind. No, leave me alone. I'm not looking back for anything in the world. What happened? It crashed. You finished the game. Oh. The game was not an absolute disaster. I am very surprised. There were a few things to improve, but overall it seemed okay. But this is all I did in those six months. This is also because I had to work on that other game and uh, that one was really uh, it was really a buggy really buggy mess for the next six months i plan to learn and add those things smooth animations a good and smart ai a good menu screen and ending settings more immersive video camera optimization and a story and a lot more minor things I'll check back with you in another 6 months. Until then, subscribe if you enjoyed. If I see support on this video, I'll upload more devlogs. Thank you for watching, see you next time.